Welcome back and uh, we have about 21 more minutes to hit the R8. If you're just joining us, this is The Breakfast Show. It's live on Ghana Television. We're live on the internet, gbcghanaonline.com and Facebook, Ghana Broadcasting Corporation. My name is George Safo. Uh, we've had very two interesting conversations earlier and we're continuing with uh, one. And after we'll have a newspaper review segment. Well, I guess we'll join us for us around the day's top news. So I have next to me, Derek Dako. Derek Dako is a physiotherapist. Next to Derek is Nyamedo Yabwa. Uh, she's also a physiotherapist and uh, also specializing in uh, occupational hygiene. Occupational hygiene. Then we have Richard Corte. Richard is also a physiotherapist and uh, CEO for Recoil Health International Foundation. So we're going to talk about Recoil Health International Foundation, Health International Foundation, and uh, other things relating to the foundation. So I'm going to start with you. First of all, good morning to all of you. Good morning. Hope you're good. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, Richard, let me start with you. Uh, what's what's Recoil? What do you guys do? Yeah. Recoil Health International Foundation is actually it's a health-based foundation that seeks to promote health. That is mainly preventive health. Mm -hmm. So, uh, our, 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 our vision is to be a lead advocate in adult health and child health. Mm -hmm. That's our main vision. Mm -hmm. And and we started. Um, I think about three years ago, in 2018, at the Ridge Hospital, in a small cubicle. So that's where you work? No, I used to work there, but now I'm a Kolebu yeah, okay. with my colleagues. So they all at Kolebu? Uh, he's a Kolebu. I'm doing yes, specialism. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. And so we started in 2018, and gradually we, we were on a project that is on Earth's policy. That is where when you give it a newborn, mm -hmm. it's or she's not able to raise their hands up so through physiotherapy and um, the child's able to raise their hands and become functional so we took out a project in 2018 2019 and 2020 mm -hmm. 2021 we changed it all over because we went to preventive health because that's actually the most important to prevent it mm -hmm. condition than treating it They're treating it so what, what 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 was the real reason for the setup of uh, the foundation what motivation did you have it was a small boy, <laughs> a small baby. Yeah, he was born and he was so fragile and I can't, I could imagine the baby who was born and cannot move their hand up. So I even cried. That day I cried. You cried. I cried my heart out. <laughs> Why? Because the baby was so handsome. Mm -hmm. And then the mom came and the mom was even crying that the baby can't move the, um, raise their hands. So any amount. But could move the, the legs. The hand. But one could, hand. could the baby move the legs? Yes. Yes. Okay. It, it's called ex palsy. S palsy. Eps palsy. Eps palsy. So it's okay. through birth. So I cried my heart out. The mom said she's willing to pay anything. Just I to just get there. I just mentioned it. Mm. If it's thousand anything, so I said no, I can't do that. But it's gradual. So through that, I said then we'll have to do more advocacy and then reach out to people and educate people about the condition. What happened to the baby? The baby is fine now. Can't move the hands yes. now. Yes, it's schooling. The baby is about I think three years. Oh, okay. The, so how do you handle a baby like that? That's a baby. Yes, we have a initial protective measure. So we hold it, keep the arm into um, close to the body, mm. and then we wrap the yeah. baby for about two weeks. 
because when we start therapy within that stage it's too early we could cause other but yeah. healing process can cause it to return to function okay all right let's move to Nyamido. Nyamido, how's it been like how's the experience been like working with the foundation and doing all the things that you do well it's been interesting you get to um, have health screenings, joint health screenings, and uh, um, screen people. Speak up a bit for me. Screen people, and then get to talk to them about conditions and how to prevent it. Most people don't know about conditions and how to prevent it. They know about the condition, but they don't really know how to prevent it. What are it. some of the conditions? So most of the, we can talk about hypertension, mm -hmm. diabetes, yeah, yeah. even the herbs per se. There are a lot of herbs cases, even though they are not... It doesn't look so common. A lot of people don't know about it, but it's very common. Mm. So something like that, we can educate the family or the mother about it. And this will really help to prevent it because it's, it's actually preventable. Mm. But then it's common because people don't know about it. All right. So Derek, I mean, same question. Oh, How has okay. it been? Well, I joined quite recently and then it's been good mm. because when I joined, we did a screening and a donation at Asha Polyclinic Jamestown mm -hmm. and after the screening we went to the streets educating people like she said you'd be surprised at how people even you know hypertension is a silent killer disease yes. people don't know they have hypertension yes. so they are screened and they are like age hey, they get alarmed so what do we do and then you also feel good you know trying to help someone help people out because yeah. with hypertension diabetes it's a risk factor for certain diseases yeah. like stroke yeah you get so you helping people gives you this inner joy and mm. like i said we also did donation we went to the world we, we did it on the 26th december mm. so it was more or less a christmas something encouraging the patient and then it was it was really really good mm. okay so um you have you have members that you you run yes yes how many are you so we are 40 in all 40 yes but wow yeah and you're all physiotherapists no, no. we have very varying professionals okay you have nurses you have doctors you have Physiotherapists, we have dietitians, we have um, lab. But well, you're all within the health um, yes. sector. Yes. Okay, all right. And um, you have online programs too, as you do? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So we realized earlier, Richard was talking about our mission, our goal mm. is about education, mm. educating people. Mm. So we are also in COVID time where we are practicing and encouraging social distancing. So we have this online program every sunday mm. on facebook mm. where every sunday we pick a topic we discuss it so we do the education aspect we let you know the normal how normal it should be the abnormal way then how to treat it mm. but then realize that the preventive aspect must come in because that is our main aim. Mm, yeah. yes please okay all right and uh let me move to your middle um what what programs are put every line that what's what upcoming programs do you have okay so on the 27th of may we plan on doing a talk in a church, but we haven't decided the church yet, so mm. you can invite us to your church. No problem. Yeah, I was just then. about suggesting that one, then, but <laughs> don't worry. And then the talk is going to be about some, it should be something on pain. Pain. Because pain is a very common thing. Back pain, yes, knee pain. Yes. Almost everyone has an area of which you or she will complain of pain. And then mental, Including headache? No. Headache, it depends. Okay. Sometimes it can't come from the neck. The headache yes sometimes it's an issue with the bone mm -hmm. or the disc okay that can radiate so mm -hmm. you can compress on the nerve that can radiate to the head giving you a headache okay. so if it's that then that's a feel but then if it's not that and it's something else it's medical yes, then that's so you but you will determine can you determine where the person's headache is coming from if it's from the Usually neck you would have to work with the doctor so if okay. they run tests and then they see that well, there's nothing really wrong with you medically. Then now they'll start looking at your musculoskeletal system. Maybe mm. there's something going on with your neck. Mm. That's what's causing it. Okay. And we also want to talk about something related to mental health because we think it's overlooked. Lots of I people, agree with you. Um, get yes. up and I so much agree with you. Yes. As for the mental health situation, it's terrible. Yes. And uh, it's just a time bomb, I would say. A lot of people are going through it. Yes. A lot of people. And we see them walking around thinking they are normal. Exactly. Sorry to use the word normal, no. though, but I mean, and then we think maybe just medications help, but yeah. then exercise really helps. Exercise helps the mental health, yes. Okay. It releases some hormones, we call them the happy hormones. Mm -hmm. so those hormones help you to feel happy. So, and people don't know about that, they mm -hmm. just go into medicine, 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 but then exercise really helps to boost 
your system and then also release those hormones to make you feel good mm -hmm. so basically that's what i want to talk about and then on the 20th of july we will be having a health screening on a tuesday market at Kolegono. Mm -hmm. so for that we would have different health specialists over there so we have the doctors we have nurses we have physiotherapists all doing a bit of it so basically we'll just look at your overall health and that so so those are two programs upcoming. Okay. How do you run a foundation? Uh, actually, um, we run to internal generators plant. Yes. It's, it's so you guys are rich, eh? It's been, no, it's, <laughs> it's been the hardest thing ever. In fact, we are, we are in the red line. Okay. Yeah, we are red line. But God's gift, not borrowed. Mm. That is one thing, not borrowed. Mm. We are on the touch line. <laughs> 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 Okay, so that's how you run. You run. Yes. Okay. But you take donations. Yes, yeah. do. Who knows? Maybe someone is watching that a person would like to help out with something. So, how can the person get in touch? Yeah, you can t um, send the uh, number. Our uh, number. Zero, What's there? Yeah. Zero five four zero five one four zero nine two. Mm -hmm. Zero five four zero five one four zero nine two. Okay. All right. So you're three years old now. Any programs to? Um, for the third year. For yeah. Yes. So uh, uh, it's in August. So okay. we are now the written. It's a one week program. Mm -hmm. That's twenty, twenty second, twenty ninth. Mm -hmm. But we've not really lined up for the program. It will come. Up, it will be on our, our social media handle. Like okay. What's your social media handle? And Twitter, Facebook, um, Instagram. So Instagram is um, Kote Rich, um, and uh, and Recoil Health. Mm -hmm. And then Twitter is at Rich Richard Kote eleven, and then Facebook is Record Health National Foundation. These are some pictures on the screen. Uh, yeah. Which one is this? So this is the most current one. That's okay. the Asha Polytechnic. Okay. Yes. What so did you go do there? We went to. We had a health screening there to the to the ward. Mm -hmm. And then we also screened the environment, the citizens around the in environment, and then also we give a donation to the administration so okay so what's that what what did you give out uh, we gave toiletries we gave clothes we gave um detergents food, yes some okay biscuits and drinks okay yeah. and this one so we, we presented a a pencil i joined so this is the proof with our patron okay it's prof Aikumi, okay it was for color of health sciences okay so he's our patron he's a sincere patron he's been since the beginning he accepted it so openly so Look, what's his name He's Prof. F. K. Aikumi, President okay. Aikumi. Okay. He has plenty of money. So he can work. <laughs> Alright, so I'll, I'll, I'll leave it here uh, for today. And hopefully, when you're about celebrating your third anniversary, we can talk again. Uh, so I'll pick a final one from all of you. I'll start with you. Your final words that we can wrap up. So, my final words are uh, all be saying all along mm. prevention is better than cure. And how are you going to know? Like I said, every Sunday we pick a topic. Mm. This Sunday's topic is ankylosing spondylitis. It sounds scary. What? Ankylosing spondylitis. What's that? It's a back condition. Okay. Where the vertebral body, your spine, causes it to fuse. It can lead to stiffness and pain. Mm -hmm. So if you want to learn more, just join us on our social media. What's handle. the word again? An ankylosing spondylitis. Ankylosing spondylitis. Why is it that things related to pain in the bone is got big scary names? Like it's always scary. Bone issues <laughs> and it got <laughs> big <laughs> ankylosing <laughs> spondylitis. The other ones too. Yeah. Anyway, okay. Yeah. All right. Nyamedo, I like your name. Thank you. Nyamedo. Thank you. God's love, right? Yeah. Good. Yes, your final words. I would like to talk about the donation. Okay. So, <laughs> I think um, we are actually accepting donations because it's not easy funding programs without help or sponsorship. So I would like to plead to the public to um, help us with some cash or kind, mm -hmm. something in kind. What the amount, same number has Richard given? Yes, the same number. Okay, all right. Richard, your final words. I just want to thank all for keeping us and all those who also are willing to join the the, the, the train, you are welcome. Mm. Our main vision is to be a lead advocate in child health and adult health. Okay. In all aspects. All right. Give out a number again that we can go. Number is 0540 514 Okay. Richard, thank you. Yamido, thank you. Derek, thank you. Welcome. All right. So you stay with us next. 
We're going to round the day's top news. We're still having breakfast here on Ghana Television. We'll be right back.